Welcome to PCB Heaven Tech Labs. Today we will demonstrate the classic electronic dive circuit. Although this is not a really practical circuit, it's very interesting the way that the LEDs are grouped and coupled to perform the six dice numbers by using the less components possible. The circuit uses the 555 timer to create the clock pulses. The timer will only operate as long as the push button is kept pressed. While the push button is pressed, the pulses are delivered to the 4017 decade counter and this will simulate the dice roll. The outputs Q1 through Q5 as well as the carry out output of the 4017 are used to control the LEDs. The 7 LEDs are connected in 3 sets of 2 LEDs each one and one single LED, making a total of 4 control lines. The first line controls only the middle LED. The second line controls the top left and bottom right LED. The third line controls the top right and bottom left LED. The fourth line controls the two middle LEDs. Now what you need to pay attention is the carry out this output is high when the decimal count is from 0 to 4 and low when the decimal count is 5 to 9. Now suppose that the count starts from 0. The output 0 is high as well as the carry out output is high. This will show the number 2 on the dice. The count now is increased to 1. The carry out is kept high. The output 1 is driven high and this will show the number 3 on the dice. On the next clock pulse, the count will be increased by 1. The output 2 will go high, and this will show the number 4 on the dice. Next count is number 3. The output 3 will go high, and this will show the number 5 on the dice. The next clock pulse will increase the decimal counter by 1, and the output 4 will go high. This will show the number 6 on the dice. Up to here, the carry output was always high. On the next clock pulse, the count will be increased by 1, and the output 5 will go high. But now, the carry out will change state and will be turned off. Thus, the number 1 is shown on the dice. On the next clock pulse, the output 6 will go high. But this output is directly connected to the reset of the decimal counter. So, the count will restart from 0. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to visit our website for more interesting projects.